My hardened heat core is now cool and I've done a little prep work in order to make it um, ready for the next step. I sand it off with some sandpaper to clean off the ends until I got all the way down to brass. Just a nice smooth all the way across the top and I've got nothing sticking out over the end of the top. Did the same for the bottom. Made sure the wires uh, are bare now. We don't need the insulation anymore. So if it didn't burn off already, I've, I've just removed what's, what was still there. And I've positioned the wires so that they're um, below the plane of the end of the core. So that done. I have no idea how toxic the uh, ceramic is to breathe in. If you know, you know, let me know. Step one for uh, adding for adding wires to the heat core is to take the little crimps that were in the bag with the nichrome wire, and they have an extra little uh, clasp on the back. We only need the one clasp in towards the middle. So it's time to take wire cutters and go in and snip off that back clamp, that back crimp. harder than it looks. Now I need to slide it onto the nichrome wire so that there is a quarter of an inch between the crimp and the core. Turn that around so I'm holding it with my left. Okay, that seems about right. Take the needle nose pliers. Sort of squeeze them together a little bit, get them lined up a little better. Crimp one over onto the wire. Squeeze it flat. And then crimp the other side. Squeeze it. That ain't so easy either. Okay, I think I've got that one 
pretty well smooshed. And I'm going to cut off I need about a millimeter or so sticking out of the end of the crimp. So at least a millimeter. So I'm going to cut this uh, roughly in half here. Fold this back over the crimp. So, next I need to attach these green wires to those pins. For this, I'm going to need to do some soldering, some more clamping. I need to strip uh, this green wire because mine did not come pre stripped. And I'm going to need five millimeters. Good enough. Now with the clip still on the strip, the trick is to get this in so that it clamps onto the insulation with the back one and the Uh, front one goes on to the bare wire. For that you need to do a better stripping job than I did, and it needs to be a little shorter. Okay, so even though that reads, well, maybe, yeah, that's five millimeters. Pretty much on the nose. That's still too long for this. So I'll trim a millimeter off the end of this. As best I can. And then see what we got. All right, so. Green wire goes in. Insulation up to, but not past, the start of the second clip. The second crimp. Okay. Hold that steadily in place and close one of the back crimps over the insulation. Got it. All right. Then go for the other one.
and then crimp the front crimps over the wire. I hear tell there's a tool that does this for you, and I'm just about to believe that it's worth the money. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of it soon. I do believe that is just perfect. now. Good. Okay, now it's time to solder. go. That's the ticket. All right, so I've got these two soldered up, more or less. By that I mean I've got one's got more on it than the other, but all right. With the mail pin now connected to both of the green wires. I can now strip off the 
Teflon insulation on the other end of the wire. I'm going to strip off about eight millimeters of it. But what I really need is just a little bit longer than this uh, crimp on the heat core. Strip that off and check it, see how much we got there. Do just a tiny bit more. Do that on one wire and then do that on the other one. Okay, see if they're about the same. I do just a tiny bit more on this one. All right. So now I'm going to put the heat core onto the screw that came with the package. and then put it on one side of the helping hands. Okay. So I've got that positioned. I'm going to slide this into the crimp on the heat core. Slide the bare end of the wire into the heat core crimp. And with that in there, I'm going to make sure to leave out just a little tiny bit of wire uh, sticking out of that crimp. Go ahead and stick my needle nose pliers in there and smash down. Okay, got that squeeze in there real good. Okay, not going anywhere, but we're not done yet. Now we're going to solder that up. And again, I warn you, my solder skills are not to be envied. Kind of getting somewhere. There we go. Now it's flowing. I think we're going to call those passable.